All right, it's time to check on what is clicking in Cleveland with our digital anchor, Stephanie Haney. Hey, Stephanie. Hey, Romney, we're going to start off with something about the racial justice movement. Our Cleveland Browns quarterback, Baker Mayfield, first said he would kneel during the national anthem next season. Now he's taking a stand for Julius Jones, an Oklahoma inmate on death row. Jones was convicted of first degree murder in 2002 for the shooting of Paul Howell, but he says he's innocent and Baker is on his side. In a letter to the governor and the parole board, Baker says that Jones was called the N word both by his arresting officer and the jury. And that it's not possible Jones received fair and impartial treatment, so he should not be on death row. A petition calling for his release has almost 5.8 million signatures right now, so Baker is not alone in that. Bringing it back home here, there is a lot of talk about the upcoming NFL season, and ESPN's Adam Schefter says that we may have to wait for a major staple because of COVID-19. The Pro Football Hall of Fame game is scheduled right now for August 6th in Canton. Now, that's supposed to be between the Dallas Cowboys and the Pittsburgh Steelers. But Schefter says that teams haven't even got the go-ahead yet for training camp to start July 28th. So he says he's expecting the Hall of Fame game to be canceled, which would be a huge bummer. That's coming from someone who goes every other year, but not as big as a bummer as a lot of people getting really, really sick. Now, down south, here is an interesting thought about our state capital. There is a group of people who would like to change the name of the city of the Columbus to Flavortown. This is in honor of famous chef Guy Fieri, the mayor of Flavortown, of course, who was born in Columbus. Now, there is a change.org petition that says he should be honored over Christopher Columbus and his problematic legacy. It calls chef celebrity Guy Fieri such a good dude, really. That's a direct quote. And so Flavortown is a better choice, according to the petition. Michael Skelton agrees. He says he lives in Columbus and he wishes that he lives in Flavortown. Now, this petition so far has 35,000 signatures, which is about 4% of the population of Columbus, Rami. So it's getting some steam. And I don't know if you've picked up on this yet, but we do love our hometown t-shirts here. So this would definitely make for some very interesting t-shirts. It would. I like the name. Maybe not for the state capitol, but I do like the name. Thanks, Stephanie.